We have a Vietnamese parlor guitar in front of us. A parlor guitar which is zero size, I believe, in the guitar world. And it's very pretty. But it is also very, very, very sick. Let's have a look at it. Has a little bit of damage there, but when I was looking at the guitar there, the little piece might be inside but I haven't checked to see yet. The frets are like razor blades down the outside. Well, that's a minor thing to look at. That's perfectly okay. We also have problems with the neck because there's a bulge in the neck there, which is pretty common. But as the neck goes along, it underbows. In other words, it's bending downwards and then it bends upwards. That might be sorted out by the, the truss rod. And if we can get the neck in any way straight, then I might be able to do something with that. That's to be decided. The head looks perfectly okay too. It has a space for a truss rod adjustment. Hopefully there's a truss rod in there. I haven't looked yet. Uh, the nut is too high, as you will see. Uh, it's as high as an elephant's eye, right? And the action down here is beyond a joke. It is the width of a finger. Look, you can get your finger in there. That means the guitar is virtually unplayable. Now, the reasons for that can be the nut height or the bridge height. But we don't have a lot to play with on the bridge. A tiny bit, but not much, right? We could also have a problem with a belly in the guitar, but I can't figure out yet whether that's, as you can see, there is a belly in the guitar, which means that the top of the guitar is stretching. But another problem this poor little guitar has is that the actual uh, string holder is coming away from the guitar. Can you see that okay? Yeah, you see where it's coming away. And now this is such fine wood, koa wood I believe it is, that that's going to be difficult to sort out. This should not be touching the guitar because it buzzes and I think it, it most definitely is touching the guitar. So the first thing to do to try to fix this, or this could be my first failure, is to adjust the truss rod, bring the nut height down as low as we can, and check the, the neck to see if that's made any difference. One of the little issues in the neck is that the wood they used was not the best quality, and it has nuts and grinds in it. It's also got little holes in the let me just see if i can show you the little holes in the fretboard no they're right there there's one underneath the, that string there dead center little holes so there's more there so hopefully if i can get the string height down to a place where it's playable uh, then we can worry about the other things the most difficult thing is going to be this I think I may have to do a hack job on this to try to get this sorted because there's no point in even fixing the rest of the guitar if the strings are going to fly off someday. So, I feel like I should be playing the death march on this little guitar, but it's until it's dead, it's still got a chance. So, I'll come back to you when I do all my tool stuff.